Hi, we're the first grade team. My name is Hannah Weber. My name is Addie Oglesby. Kat Kaiser. Laura Kropel. We're here to talk to you today about our first grade curriculum, so let's go ahead and dive in. The first piece we'd like to talk to you about is communication. You can always contact any of us via email. You can look that up on the Rockwood website. In addition, we have our Seesaw Families app. You either will be receiving or have received information on how to log in. So once you get that, please get set up because that'll be a way for us to communicate with you about your child's progress. We also have class Facebook pages. Each of us do, they are private. You, in addition, you will be receiving or, receiving or have received information on that. You can also contact us by phone and please feel free to contact us at any time. All right, our first thing is Seesaw. Seesaw is an individualized parent, student, and teacher communication tool. We use Seesaw to communicate your students' progress, achievements, and more with just you. Seesaw offers the ability to organize posts made. Posts are organized by folders within the app. Please pay attention to the folder in which posts are submitted so you're aware of what subject or area we are sharing with you. Feel free to message your, your child's teacher through Seesaw. And if you have not signed up, please get signed up because you will receive lots of important information through this app. Facebook. Each class has their own Facebook page. These pages will be used to share fun and exciting things we are doing in the classroom. This feed is a wonderful opportunity to build up community within our classrooms with both students and parents. Please feel free to like, comment, and or post to the feed. Please refrain from messaging your teacher through Facebook Messenger. We are not checking our Facebook throughout the day and we will not be receiving your messages. English language arts. The main components that we will be focusing on in first grade are comprehension and fluency. We will assess these skills using the benchmark um, Pontus and Pinnell's benchmark assessment system. This system uses letters A to Z to indicate reading levels. In kindergarten, students begin at a level A and progress to level D. In first grade, students progress from a level D to a level J. Please note that we do not share reading levels with you as their level is not as significant as their progress. There is an opportunity for learning at home. More information about this opportunity will be sent home on the first day of school. Please check your child's backpack for an orange packet. Um, on each slide for academic skills, we are adding a piece where, for what parents can do at home to help support their learning here at school. So for English language arts, just reading with your child and establishing that strong love of reading at home would really help support their learning here at school. Thanks. Okay, our next piece is phonics. So phonics is the brain's ability to recognize letters and sounds and manipulate those sounds within words. So we'll be practicing this skill every day during daily word play here in our classrooms. We'll be focusing on short vowel sounds, long vowel sounds, digraphs, blends, and vowel teams. We have a few examples of these um, here at the bottom. Your role at home, if you're looking for a way to practice, while doing sight words at home with your child, point out these core phonics sounds within those words so they can get to see these um, patterns within our words. All right, writing. We will be focusing heavily on the mechanics of writing such as letter formation, spacing, punctuation, complete sentences, and paragraphs. We will learn how to write informational, fiction, narrative, and opinion texts. We will use several mentor texts throughout our lessons to model these writing skills. Your role as a parent at home is you could focus on the formation of upper and lowercase letters, placing emphasis on writing their letters from top to bottom. Math. The main components of math that we will be focusing on this year are numeracy, place value, time, money, and geometry. Please refer to the first grade math page in your orange packet for more information. Something you can be doing at home to help reinforce math skills is um, playing Prodigy with your students. Prodigy is an online resource that we use in the classroom for boosting math skills. If you would like, your ch if you would like to get your child set up at home, ask your teacher for their login information. Science. This year we have adopted a new science curriculum called MySci. This new curriculum will allow students more hands-on learning opportunities. We will be exploring patterns in the sky, light and sound, and plant and animal interactions. Something you can do at home is you can explore nature through your local parks, the St. Louis Zoo, or just your own backyard. 
For social studies, we're going to be learning about geography, economics, history, and culture this year. While building our classroom communities, we're always wanting to learn more about one another. So if you and your family have a unique family tradition that you'd like to celebrate, we'd love to hear about it and love to learn more about it so we can share in one another's cultures. Something that you can do at home is to share those family traditions with your child. In addition, take time to explore your local community so you can expose them to their surroundings and other cultures. Specials. First grade students will attend five specials during the week. They will attend two different specials per day for 30 minutes each, totaling one hour. Students attend PE every day, so please make sure to dress your kiddo in appropriate footwear or send it in their backpack for them to change into. In addition to one hour of specials each day, students will attend art class for one hour once per week. The specials and specialists are art, which is taught by Mrs. Glossinger, music taught by Ms. Tomich, technology taught by Mrs. Cunningham, library taught by Mr. Brim, PE taught by Mr. Herdlicka and Mrs. Harton. Instruction. We meet the needs of all of our learners. Our classroom instruction is always altered to meet the learning styles and acad academic needs of your students in every subject area. Thank you. Thank you.